Learning your ABCs with all your buddies. I'm Miss Jillian. And I'm Pastor G. Jesus loves you and so do we. Old buddies, here we are opening up another Bible ABCs episode in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today's letter is O. This is an uppercase O, and this is a lowercase O. O can make a short O sound like ah, such as an octopus, or it can make a long O sound like in Ohio or orange. Well, aren't you glad we're talking about the letters of the alphabet? But seriously, oranges are an outstanding fruit. Yay! Oranges are a healthy food that you can eat at lunch, dinner, and even breakfast. Breakfast might be my favorite meal of the day. And there are so many words that start with O that you can eat for breakfast. You could have oatmeal or an omelet with onion and cheese. Hooray! Mm. Onions make me cry when I cut them. I was thinking more along the lines of okra sprinkled with some Oreo crumbs or maybe some oysters with oregano. I'm not sure those are optimal flavor combinations, but it's a free country. You have the option to eat okra or oysters for breakfast if you really want to. Oh, gross. Speaking of free, that reminds me of our Bible character for today. There was a man in the Bible named Onesimus, and he was not free, at least not at first. Onesimus had been a slave that ran away from a man named Philemon. After Onesimus ran away, one day he heard Paul sharing the good news about Jesus. Can you tell the kids what happened next? Okie dokie. When Onesimus heard about Jesus and the good news, he became a Christian. In fact, he became a close friend of Paul and he helped Paul out. Paul also happened to know his former master, Philemon. Philemon had become a Christian as well. So Paul sent Onesimus back to Philemon. Why would he do that? Paul told Philemon that it was better to have a brother in Christ than to have a slave. Paul told Philemon not to be angry or try to make Onesimus his slave again. Instead, Paul told Philemon to welcome Onesimus as a brother in Christ and to rejoice that they both follow Jesus and to forgive one another. He sent Onesimus to Philemon because he wanted them to get over their differences and focus on all the wonderful things they shared because they both were Christians. Oh my. This is another story that teaches us it's better to be friends than to be enemies. And I promise you that no one is better at helping us turn our enemies into friends than Jesus. We're out of here. I'm Miss Jillian. And I'm Pastor G. Jesus loves you and so do we.